Thank you for checking out my tutorial, How to Check Voltage in Your Panel Using a Digital Meter. The first step in this process, once you locate the panel in your home, is to remove the screws that hold the faceplate against the panel itself. You'll want to be careful as you're doing this because sometimes wiring will brush up against the set screws and as you're removing it, cause a dead short. Now, as you remove the last set screw, gently pull the face of the panel away and set it down on the floor off to the side. Next you're going to want to visually inspect the panel itself looking for any burnt wiring or any loose connections that might be obvious to the naked eye. In this example I have two breakers that are shut off. Whether they were tripped off or whether they were shut off manually, it really doesn't matter. Now in this example, what you want to do is jiggle the breakers to make sure they are seated tightly in the panel itself. Then, standing off to the side, use your thumb and push them into the on position until you hear a clicking noise, which indicates that the breakers are now in the on position. Now that you've reset these breakers, you want to check for proper voltage. So take the black lead and put it on the neutral bar and touch each breaker terminal with the red lead. Each time you do this, it should register 120 volts. Next you want to take and check for 220 volts across the breaker. So take the black lead and put it on one terminal and take the red lead and put it on the other terminal and as you can see in this example, it should register up to 250 volts.